Hi, I'm Art, BenQ Ambassador, and what I'd like you to do is take some time to talk about color calibration devices that are compatible with BenQ Palette Master Elements software. There are a lot of devices out there in the market, and some of them carry the same design. The other ones carry similar brand namings or device namings that can be somewhat confusing when you're trying to go out there and choose the best device that would calibrate your display and fit into your workflow. In this video, what I'm going to do is decode all of them for you. Primarily, we're going to be focusing on devices by two different companies. One of them is going to be X-Rite, and the other one is going to be Datacolor. Let's get started. Before we start, subscribe if you are new and hit on the bell to be notified when I upload cool new videos like this. So let's talk about the setup that I have here. Right in front of me, I have seven color calibration devices, and this doesn't even cover the entire spectrum of what Palette Master Element can support. Primarily, I have two kind of devices, two category of devices from two different companies. And I also have with me the SW270C. This is BenQ SW Line 2K hardware calibrate display. On the screen itself, I have Palette Master Element running with the list of compatible devices. So let's talk about, first of all, what is Palette Master Element? So Palette Master Element is a software developed by BenQ to specifically calibrate their SW display. When you use Palette Master Element, what it's going to do is that it's going to talk directly with the computer and the lookup table that is built into your BenQ SW display. Therefore, it's going to do all the color adjustment, brightness, and also the calibration at the panel level, giving you better color, better tonality, and no signal manipulation coming out from the video card. So cleaner tones, essentially. When you use the software that come with these devices that are in front of me from both companies, X-Rite and Datacolor, what you're doing then is a software calibration. A software calibration, the process that you go through will be very similar to a hardware calibration. The difference is that the software calibration will end up producing an ICC profile, very similar to the way how the hardware calibration is going to produce an ICC profile as well, but that profile is different. The software calibration profile, what that's going to do is manipulate and remap the colors that are coming out from your video card in order for the colors to match closely with the reference value. Essentially, when you run a hardware calibration, that ICC profile will exist. It will tell the computer that this is the color gamut that is on this display right now, but it will tell the video card to output color at 100%. So that's the difference between the two. Again, both of them will have an ICC profile. So before we talk about compatibility, we need to talk about category of devices. There are primary two. One of them is called the colorimeter. The five of them that you see here represents a colorimeter device. They're generally smaller and their capability is to calibrate displays and projector only. That's the only thing they can do. They also offer a more value price point as well when you want to get into display calibration. Next up is a device category called color spectrophotometer. A color spectrophotometer can calibrate displays, it can calibrate projectors, it can also profile printers and also measure color patches. So if you have an object and you want to know what that color of the object is, you can use a color spectrophotometer to measure that. And that's the great thing about having a color spectrophotometer. But color spectrophotometer, when you start to get into these, they start to go up in prices for rather quickly compared to the colorimeter. So now that we understand the difference between colorimeter and color spectrophotometer, let's move on and talk about the two device manufacturer. We have X-Rite, which makes the i1 line, and Datacolor, which makes the spider line. So first of all, let's focus on Datacolor. With Datacolor, there are three devices that are supported with Palette Master Element. That is the Spider 4, Spider 5, and also the Spider X. So the Spider 5 is the one that I have here. I do not have a Spider 4, but this is a Spider 5, and this is what it looks like. And this is the Spider X. So the Spider X has a redesigned shape here and with a red ring going around it, a white enclosure on the outside. So these three devices from Spider are supported in Palette Master Element, and this is regardless of the version that you get. Whether you get the Elite or the Pro version, they will both work with Palette Master Element because in this case, you're not really using Spider software. A quick note about those Spider software, the difference between the Pro and the Elite version is that the Pro version is more so, I would say, like a more basic program which allows you to do calibration on individual display. The Elite version will give you more features in terms of going out there and matching one display to the next display and so forth. So if you're running a multiple display environment, the Elite version may be the one that you want to choose for the data color 
uh, spider devices in that case. So now let's move on to the X-Rite devices. And again, I don't have all the supported X-Rite devices on the table here. There are three more that I don't have and I can't show you, but I can show you the one that I have and talk about the one I don't have and you'll see the picture of them popping up. All right, so first of all, the staple that I've loved for calibrating BenQ SCB display for the longest time has been X-Rite i1 Display Pro. This is the device right here. The way how you identify is that it has a dome on the, side, on the top there, the white diffusion dome. You open it up, you see the lens, and you rotate the clip that way to cover the dome. The other thing to note too is that it says i1 Display, and there is just the i1 logo on the side there. This is the i1 Display Pro, and that's how you identify it. It's been, again, one of the staples that I've used to calibrate all my display for, I would say, the past 12 years or so since they have launched the device. So it's just been an absolute fantastic device to use. Then x rite recently announced an update to the i1 Display Pro, and they call it the i1 Display Pro Plus, which is the device that I have here. So again, they use the i1 logo at the top there. It says i1 Display, and rather than saying Pro, it just says i1 Display Plus. So that's how you would identify an i1 Display Pro Plus device. So the i1 Display Pro Plus device, what's the difference between that and the i1 Display Pro? Well. This one can measure display that can go up as bright as 1,000 nits. This one will go up and measure display that are as bright as 2,000 nits. So essentially, the i1 Display Pro Plus has a better sensitivity range in this case. And in that case, even though we're not really going to be calibrating our BenQ display at 2,000 nits, the thing is that that increased sensitivity range is also going to help calibrating in the darker tones on the BenQ display. This is going to work especially well if you're doing any kind of printing at all. So that's just something to keep in mind. The i1 Display Pro Plus is unofficially supported right now in Palette Master Element version 1.3.8. What you have to do in that case is choose the i1 Display Pro device. If you plug the Plus in, it will also work as well. So if you're looking between these two devices and you want to get the latest and greatest, the Plus, it will also work with the current version of Palette Master Element. I have one more x ray i1 display device that I want to talk about, but rather than talking about that device only, what I like to do is talk about the entire lineup, and that is the i1 Studio lineup, which can be somewhat confusing. So first of all, let's talk about this device right here. This is the x ray i1 Display Studio. You can identify this with the i1 logo on the top, the i1 display, and it says Studio right there in the box. This device is not compatible with Palette Master Element. It is a color perimeter device. You can use it to calibrate display. Any software calibration will work in this case using i1 Studio software. But x rite did not open this device up for third-party access. That means Palette Master Element does not have access to this device and it will not work and is not compatible with it. But speaking of the i1 devices, it can be somewhat confusing because then we have the i1 Studio. And amazingly enough, both the i1 Studio and the i1 Display Studio uses a piece of software called i1 Studio. You start to see the point, right? So it can be somewhat confusing. So if you ask me any questions about these devices, specify whether it is a i1 Display Studio, an i1 Studio device, or the i1 Studio software. So be very clear about that because otherwise, I will ask you that question too in the comments back and it's just, you know, one more threat to answer. So anyway, these are the category devices. Now the thing is that the colorimeter for the i1 Studio is not compatible with Palette Master Element right here. So the i1 Display Studio, not compatible. Apparently though, the i1 Studio, the full-fledged color spectrophotometer device, is compatible with Palette Master Element. So if you have this big one with the center ring that rotates around with this clear top and so forth, the silver device, this will work with Palette Master Element. Also, something to mention here too is that if you have x rite previous devices, the Color Monkey. So the i1 Display Studio is very synonymous to the Color Monkey display, which will also not work with Palette Master Element. But if you have the Color Monkey Photo, which is this big device right here, again, very similar in design to the i1 Display Studio, this one will also work with Palette Master Element. And also a quick kit as well, if you have the Color Monkey um, devices, they will all work with x rite i1 Studio software. So just FYI there. But again, these color spectrophotometer devices will work with Palette Master Element. So anyway, I hope that you find this video demystifying, decoding these color management devices helpful and hopefully guide your decision in terms of picking the right device for your workflow 
and also the right device to calibrate your BenQ SUV display. If you already have any of these compatible devices out there, my recommendation is to stick with the device you have. You really don't need to go out and buy a new one. However, if you're tingling and you really want to buy a new one, if you want the best device to calibrate the display possible, I would probably say get the i1 Display Pro or the i1 Display Pro Plus, depending on which one you want to go with. They're both really good. Just know that the Plus is going to be slightly more sensitive than the i1 Display Pro. So that's just something to think about. If at any point you want to print or if you have a printer in your studio, in your home office, and you want to do any printing, I would say the i1 Studio is a fantastic device. This colorimeter, again, it will calibrate your BenQ SUV display, but it will also profile printer as well at a price point that is really nominal. So the price point of this device is really great compared to the pro devices that are out there that can cost about three to four times as much as the i1 Studio here. Anyway, I hope that you find this video helpful. If you have any questions about any of these devices, compatibility issues, or otherwise, leave them in the comment section below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. And until next time, art is right.